Hello friends and welcome back for episode 69 of our Terraria 1.2 Let's Play. I know it goes against the uh, very nature and the fabric of the universe that we live in, but I could not come up with a single thing to celebrate the fact that it is episode 69. So uh, rather than do some ridiculous little sculpture or something, uh, we're just going to keep on keeping on and try and fight uh, the same Frost Moon that we are trying to fight before. I think that kind of makes sense from a pro progression perspective, hopefully. Uh, but I do want to mention, though, I did obtain this sucker. This is the Paladin Hammer. This is the thing that we had found uh, in the dungeon. I did another grinding session, as I'm sure you would imagine, and we were lucky enough to be granted with the wonderful luck that enabled this to drop. So now we have it, and it uh, hits lots of stuff real fast. It doesn't seem like it's going to be a main weapon that I use, but it's certainly the best uh, one of these like retractable, returnable, projectile-type weapons that I think I've seen so far, anyway. Uh, what time is it? 7.01, so we're getting close. Let's, uh, let's get our presents ready to go in our inventory. I've got the usual stuff here. Uh, we haven't really made any meaningful differences to our lineup of items, but I have added a bunch of stuff at home that I'm going to show you uh, being uh, basically a bunch of emblems that I got by grinding the Wall of Flesh for like a million tries. So I could technically make another Avenger emblem now, but I'm just going to wait and see how we do with this one, because we did actually make it through the fight before. And so you guys don't call me scum, I'm going to spam the present right now, so that way we hit it right on the right second. And uh, then we're going to switch these back, and we'll put our monocuffs back on our boots. I don't think I noticed how cool this music was last time I did this. Uh, so let's get the elves in, and we will begin the slaughter once again. Uh, so again, our, our priority here, to get as many dudes in the center as possible, I'm going to grab this uh, extra buff. From using the crystal ball, which is the thing that I usually forget to do, and then somebody always has to send me an angry comment. Uh, it's just part of the YouTube process, I understand. It's not really personal or anything. Uh, so that's already over. Elf, zombie, and elf archers are now showing up. Uh, first couple waves, from what I remember, didn't seem all that difficult. And amazingly enough, we actually managed to get through the entire first attempt undead. Uh, without dying, rather, which uh, I certainly didn't expect at all. So with a little luck, maybe we could do that again, and maybe we could kill this Everscream and get really lucky and end up having uh, some sort of extra awesome stuff drop this time. I mean, we didn't really get much from the first one, if I remember even really hardly anything. Uh, then we we got like the Elf Melter or something, right? It's like a flamethrower. Oddly enough, I think my uh, incessant need to feed the habit that has been my Terraria play has somewhat cooled off lately. I haven't been playing nearly as much as I was a few weeks ago, uh, which is probably right to do, I think, at this point, because I really should be starting to think about some new stuff, considering we're pretty much at the end of the game. Uh, this is the last bit of content, aside from, you know, manually uh, creating challenges for ourselves that I think we need to really do. Uh, but I have been mentioned, or I have been told by some people on Twitter, or as of yet, a single person on Twitter, uh, that there is some stuff already in works for 1.3. And I'm very excited to see what that is, and I have a feeling, if anything, this is going to be one of those series that lives on forever, uh, and is just returned to whenever there's something new to talk about, and I think hopefully you'd be cool with that. I'm certainly uh, thinking that's probably the best way to go about things, but there's still a few more things that I want to actually do uh, in this play. Uh, one of those things being I want to challenge the Dungeon Guardian at one point, but that's going to require a lot of setup. I've got to create... A, uh, some sort of Rube Goldberg machine that's going to basically take out uh, this skull that's got like a bajillion health, and it can one-shot me, uh, unless I'm using the karate gear, uh, what is it called, ninja gear or something like that, that actually allows me to have like a 12% chance not to get hit in certain instances. You know, it's uh, no guarantees that I'd live through the thing, but at least if I have a certain chance that I might be able to do it twice, I guess that counts. The best way to go, though, don't get hit at all, and I think what that's going to require is uh, a couple of teleporters set up across the world uh, with a whole bunch of traps in between the two, and then I would just teleport back and forth, leading him through the traps over and over again. Eventually, health will hopefully run out. His health before mine, that is. Uh, I'm thinking pretty soon is when I'm going to probably start dropping buffs. Alright, we've got Mecha Santas showing up now. It's uh, Santa... What is this guy called again? Oh yeah, Santa-NK1, so like Santa-Nick. Uh, buffs, buffs, buffs! I dropped them, and I also healed. And I need to heal a lot faster than I am right now. So I need to be doing more damage than I'm taking. It's the obvious transaction that needs to transpire right now. 
how are we doing on this Santa? Looks like he's still got a lot of health left. I haven't been doing any of my, uh, passive damage attack things. And for some reason I haven't been using my Bat Scepter either, which I don't really understand what the logic of that was. I certainly heal a lot faster using this than I did with the, uh, the other one. I guess I just sort of forgot that this is the new de facto standard now. It's, uh, one of the unfortunate things that happens when you don't play the game for a week or so. Gotta watch my own Let's Play, guys. What can I say? Alright, so far things are going pretty well. We had one little trip up, and I think that also sort of prompted me to wake up for a second and, and remember uh, the things that make us successful, hopefully. So let's continue doing those things and mitigating the things that make us unsuccessful if possible. Let's get this guy to stand directly in the path of that. That looked pretty good. Looks like he took a bunch of damage. And I think our sentry's probably going to run out in a second, so let's drop another one. Preferably not in a wall. I actually lost where my uh, cursor was for a second there. And then we're just going to go right back to batting it up a little bit. Looks like we're healing pretty well still. I wish they would add some way to get more health. Like, I, I understand we've got a lot of health as it is. You know, 500 is, is nothing to sneeze at, but I kind of just really enjoy the element of having, like permanent passive upgrades to your character and how that sort of makes you spiral out of control more and it makes me sad when I've run out of those things completely and the only way that I can possibly get any bonuses now is just to completely min-max everything uh, by obsessively trying to get like every single accessory to the best possible uh, attributes and prefixes that I can and trying to find some sort of rare off-the-path stuff that maybe isn't commonly used in pairings with other things I mean, it's kind of cool in a way, because yeah, you're you're coming up with the best possible synergy that you can, and that's fun, but I kind of really like when you don't have to try as hard at it, which is maybe a little bit silly to say. Um, so we've got Raining Presence, plenty of Santas. Are we going to get another, another Everscream cramp? I'm looking at the lineup here, and I think I need to dip into this uh, the pool of lava for a second see if I can collect some of this stuff. But there's uh, so much activity going on, it's making it very difficult. Let's not step in the way of all these raining presents, though. Uh, we need the Ice Queen to show up. She's the only way we're gonna get a real uh, chance at good drops. I think she has all the best stuff, so I think that should hopefully be in the next wave or so. The other thing I'm thinking about having uh, not done this, which is, seems a little strange actually, is uh, adding some honey areas on my arena somewhere. I'm not sure where exactly I'd put them, but I guess I could come up with a little spot maybe hovering in the air uh, and fill those up with those little honey areas, and then, uh, you know, I can get another passive uh, health regen increase in addition to all the buffs that I've been putting on at the same time. Oh, that helicopter is what's doing that. Alright, the helicopter's gotta go. And of course these Everscream's not great either. There's an Ice Queen coming in. Alright, so we've gotta get... Let's dip in here real quick, get some of these things out of the pit, and hopefully then our hearts can start coming back on the sides. And I just want to make sure that these helicopters stay dead as quickly as possible. Alright, so here we go. 30 seconds on another heal if uh, we can watch that timer. I want to get our uh, rain coming in as quickly as possible right here, and then we're just going to start wailing on her, hopefully. And, uh, it, well, problem is, again, and I think I said this last time, she doesn't like to play by the rules here and stay in the path of the rain, uh, which means that I'm not necessarily getting heals as fast as I'd like, and she's not taking damage as fast as I like either. Although when she does that, if she could uh, possibly do that right in the way of the rain, that would certainly make a pretty big difference. And my heal is up, so I'm going to use that and immediately take damage again. That brings it right back down. I can only imagine if I hadn't have done it, that would have been a big problem. So uh, I got killed by a Flacco. Sounds like an awful thing to say. Was she almost dead? I think it said, what, seven? Oh. Yeah, that's... Okay, still 7,000 is still quite a bit left. Uh, let's heal up again. Buffs. Uh, probably not the best way to start things, because I have, like, no ability to run without my boots, and I'm dead again. So I guess we're going to now start the downward spiral to obscurity and fading away, which is not what I was looking forward to seeing happen at all on this episode. I was hoping for greatness. I don't have a single chance in hell when this is going on, do I? Uh, wow. Alright, what happened to my damage? Uh, rather my de uh, de defense is what I'm trying to say here. Um, I don't think I can even try to fight this lady when this is going on. This is garbage. So once you die, you're just out. 
Uh, the second that I respawn here, I can heal. I'm, it doesn't matter. I'm not going to be able to get enough damage in to live through one or two attacks from this thing. So what am I going to need to do now to make this not be a problem again? Well, not die is the first course of events. Uh, now I guess I just have to wait this out and just die over and over again, so I guess we could just have a fun time here and talk about uh, our day or something. Well, the Frost Queen decides to just go nuts on this pile of sand next to us here. There we go. So, how are you guys doing? Hopefully you're having a good time with the Terraria Let's Play. It's been a pretty long and eventful path that we've gone down to get to this point. And uh, now we're at the part where, uh, essentially, there is no skill whatsoever involved. You just have to wait. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of this kind of thing, honestly. This is sort of reminding me a little bit of the, what happened when we had the pirate invasion, when I wasn't quite geared for that. And now that I know there's no actual chance to really gear myself substantially better, like, I'm already at the top tier of pretty much everything, uh, this is pretty frustrating, because, like, what do you expect me to do? You want me to bring in more players, I guess, is one option. But, uh, alright, the music has changed. I don't know if these, uh, ice ball guys are gonna ever go away, though. Certainly hoping. Also hoping that I don't respawn in the middle of... There we go. Uh, one of those things hitting me, because that could have gone pretty badly as well. So, yeah, that was, uh, one of the most horrible boss fights I think I've done in a while. Oh, I destroyed the bed by accident. And did I even get... I don't think I got a single drop from that whole fight either. Which is also pretty sad. Um, I guess I wasn't really like expecting one because we weren't very high in the waves there, but at the same time, it would have been really nice. Uh, as apparently there are a few items that are so OP that you know it might be that those are the new uh, bat scepter that I need to go after or something like that. All right, we should go back over there though and check to make sure I didn't miss anything. Cause it's quite possible that I did. Excuse me, and then we're gonna go back to the house for a while, and we're gonna go see what stuff is there. Oh, this grave just... is... fallen. Okay. Two gravestones, actually. Just sort of sitting sideways on top of each other. Please go away. I feel like after you get to a certain point in the game, it should kind of be like an Earthbound, or uh, the Mother series, where it's like, the enemies get that you are not really worth... Oh, what is that? I got a Razor Pine! Holy junk, that is actually a thing that I was told I really need. Uh, but I was hoping that the enemies would eventually be like, yeah, this isn't, like, a fight that I want to engage in, because he's just going to destroy me. Uh, whether or not they still appear is one thing, but maybe they should just not engage you quite as much. They could just, like, run away from you a little bit. Uh, that seems like a, a reasonable thing to do when we're at this stage of the game. Like, a one hit from pretty much any of my attacks pretty much kills mostly all of the little enemies. So let's see what this Razor Pine's about. I've heard very many good things. So it's 80 magic damage, 29% critical strike chance. That's pretty high. Insanely fast speed, weak knockback, uses two mana, shoots razor sharp pine needles. Alright. Oh yeah, that looks pretty nice. So it's got a little bit of the, uh, the golden shower effect in a way, but I think it's way lower mana consumption if I'm right. Uh, this is five mana, this is two. So it's, yeah, it's less than half actually which is pretty nice, and it does a pretty substantial amount of damage as well. You know, 80 versus this 53, this is not augmented yet, so we're going to definitely want to go take care of that. Uh, I guess this will be my new uh, Bat Scepter, like I was just saying three seconds ago. So if we're real lucky, we can go reforge some stuff and get stuff done, and then maybe in the evening we can try another fight and hopefully get our revenge on the horrible situation that just went down a minute ago. Uh, that would make me pretty happy anyway. I'd like to have some victorious and celebratory stuff going on in this episode, rather than just shrinking uh, and sadness and, then you know, fading away into obscurity. Uh, what did I end up with? Okay, we got 71 gold out of that. That's not terrible. I mean, that wasn't a particularly great fight, so I guess I'm kind of happy that it at least uh, rewarded us in that way. Uh, there's a lot of junk in here that I could probably just sell, and also I'm, like, out of all my potions again, so I need to take care of that situation. I said I was going to keep the stars mostly, the gel though, not so much. Um, Alright. And what else did I get? I also, in the last grinding episode, I'm going to put my Frostbark boots back instead of the Monocuffs. Which I know some people have also told me, like, don't bother with the Monocuffs. But right now they have a pretty nice augmentation on them, so I thought I'd keep them. Uh, I also found the Sniper Rifle, which uh, is a pretty big deal, I think. Uh, allows me to shoot very, very highly damaging shots and also allows me to mess with the camera every time I miss a door, so that way I can zoom around and look at stuff. 
Uh, so if I wanted to snipe this bunny, I suppose that's possible, but I have to, like, shoot ahead of it, which is way harder than it probably should be. Yeah, Alright, so there's a degree of inaccuracy about that thing, but I suppose if you're very, uh, lucky and willing to work at it, you can probably have some pretty good rewards. So those were chlorophyte bullets, that's why that was happening. Maybe the, uh, homing element in them is what was knocking them off course or something. Uh, I want to get this out of my inventory because I'm kind of tired of bending the camera by accident. Uh, where's my weapon one? Yeah, there it is. Or my gun... gun rack. Uh, did I show you the stake launcher? I can't remember if I did. Not much to see here, but... Yeah, it's just a crossbow, basically, that shoots wooden projectiles. It's kind of neat in concept. Uh, practicality, though, not super high. Uh, oh, I guess we probably want that instead. Any other things that I found? I think that was mostly it. The dungeon stuff, all that really was left was the sniper rifle. Oh, and there was a tactical shotgun that I haven't found still, so I guess that's the one thing that's left. And then I can't remember if there was, like, some kind of armor. I think maybe there wasn't, actually. I just had it in my head that there was, because there was a SWAT helmet that I had found. Somebody also told me to get the death sickle once in the uh, comments. I did actually get this a while ago. Uh, very cool melee weapon, one that I probably would have used more had I found it a bit earlier, but it's uh, been outclassed pretty quickly, unfortunately. 72 melee damage, certainly not bad. Uh, but I have the Ruthless Cutlass, which is way faster, although doesn't have the sweet uh, effect with it. And also, what is up with the fact that these keep getting out of order so often? I'm not sure why that keeps happening. I guess when I keep adding stuff to the pile, they just uh, get reversed or something. And the Pointy, the Horseman's Blade, also very cool. I think there's actually some pretty practical applications for use of that uh, as it pertains to healing. So that is a thing that maybe I want to investigate for further use. Uh, what else was I going to do? I was going to reforge. We'll get our Razor Pine reforged as much as possible. Uh, I should probably take, actually, a few Platinum because this is never a quick task. Although I wish it was. Sometimes it actually is pretty quick. I get pretty lucky uh, with the occasional weapon or two, or various things, actually. It's only 12 gold to reforge. I guess from the uh, state of zero augmentation it is. Hey, Superior, that seems uh, pretty good, actually. I'm not sure what the best one is. Usually it's godly, but I have to usually check what the wiki says about that. Also, I forgot to resummon all my stuff. I had, like, the tiki head and the light source guy, the, the wisp in a bottle, and the uh, raven, of course, because that's so raven. And uh, now I guess I don't really need to have all those dudes with me. I was just doing it for fun. Did I increase uh, speed on this, too? Because that's pretty crazy. 3% critical strike and knockback. Knockback seems pretty important, especially if it has very low knockback. Ooh, that feels satisfying when you cut through all of that. Yeah, I'm looking forward to trying this out on the fight again next time. And let's get these emblems together. We'll see what we can do. You'll see uh, it's pretty funny, actually. I've gotten tons of ranger emblems. I just had, like, five of them drop in a row, which is the weirdest thing, because I had no idea what was going on there. Every single time I would try and get it again, I would just get another razor emblem. I'm like, well, what happened? Is my game bugged? Like, why is it only giving me that... Uh, but I think for the best chance at progression here, what we would need is actually not only these three emblems to then create the Avenger emblem, but then another Angry Sorcerer emblem or beyond, uh, whatever the higher one menacing is. Uh, so I need to turn this into a thing, reforge it a bunch of times, then get an another Sorcerer emblem, then reforge that a bunch of times. And when all those things come together, I think I should be about at the maximum efficiency that I can be, aside from just filling up every single one of my inventory slots with more... Uh, of those damage-dealing accessories, because, again, more damage equals more healing, and more healing means, you know, better experience all around. So 12% increased damage uh, in all aspects, so no matter what I happen to be using, this is a magic damage one, so that's fine. Now we're going to try and reforge it a, a few times and see if maybe we get lucky. And then what time is it now? It is 8.56. I'm The one thing that I'm, like, super sick of with this game now, and I'm not trying to be negative, but, like... It's real boring waiting for night to come every single time, because basically all I have to do anymore is just wait for night to do the same fight every time. Alright, so far, not not good. Jagged, not good. 20 mana, not good. 3% damage, that's... Sometimes I like to leave it at that, uh, but I should probably go all out on this, because this is an item that I probably am going to keep. Uh, the question is now, if I turn this into another Destroyer Emblem, would it continue to stack? Is it every single one of these in my inventory, regardless of if they're the same item? Or is it that I have to keep one that's a Destroyer uh, Emblem, one of them that's an Avenger Emblem, and then one that's just a plain uh, Sorcerer Emblem? 
and then all together those will result in the most damage, or can I just have three of the best one, or something like that? Because that's, I don't know, real dumb if I have to do it that way, but... Uh, reforge. Three defense. This was a real big risk. I'm really hoping that I can get back to it. For defense, that, well, that can be good, but that's not what we're after today. Oh, the gold! I'm throwing! Oh, there it is! Menacing! Amazing. Alright, that actually wasn't terrible. Let's see what the list looks like. Yeah, there it goes! Up into the sky. Okay, well... That represented... What was that? About three platinum or so. Honestly, could have been a lot worse, so I'm not really complaining, but... It's just sad to see your money go for basically no reason like that. Also, it would be kinda cool... And maybe they would actually consider adding this in a future version just by complete random chance, because it's not like I'm suggesting this directly to them or anything. But it would be super cool if everything that you unlocked, maybe you could buy some kind of an item uh, that exists, like all these crazy things that I have up here in the top part of my house, that you could like access the past history of whatever you've forged. So every time you forge a thing, it like unlocks and you can just spawn it from there, and then have, if you want to make an all-defense build one day, uh, you just go grab that augmentation and put it on as a prefix uh, because you've unlocked that list or that item from the list. Also, I think I made some changes up here, didn't I? Oh, maybe not, actually. All I did was remove the uh, ancient necro armor because there's no set for that. It's just a helmet for whatever reason. Uh, I guess the set goes with the other armors. And also I need to build... Is this the bone armor? I forget. There's like one or two up here that I haven't done. Uh, also, I need to build like the cactus armor and the pumpkin armor and all that stuff and put it in somewhere in here. Uh, probably make another floor and do, like, all cosmetic armors, because there's a whole bunch of them that are just uh, sitting in my chests down there that basically have no functional purpose other than to look silly, or look fancy, or look funny, or whatever. But I'm pretty excited. If there's going to be another big update to this, whether or not it adds more endgame content, I still am looking quite forward to seeing uh, where they go with things. Uh, I think I got... Did I have uh, multiple bone feathers before? I'm not sure if I had all of these catalyst items before, but now I have them. And I've got quite a few pets, too. I mean, there's still a bunch that I'm missing, but I'll get on collecting those at some point. And, uh, what else did I want to do? Uh, there's got to be some other stuff. Yeah, potions. I need potions. Take a couple of iron skins. Uh, magic power. Oh, I'm running, running out of all of this stuff, unfortunately. I can take, like, three of these and not feel bad, but I'm on my last magic power potion. Gotta get a whole bunch more stars and plants and stuff. Enemy spawn rate? Nah, I don't think any of these are helpful. Yeah, this is all. It's fine. It's good stuff, but not stuff that's going to help me out of any situations here. And I'm going to slowly, over the course of the next, like, five years, work my way through all of these items. Um, working down through sugar cookies for now, and eventually I'll branch out into Christmas puddings and gingerbread cookies, and then eventually, you know, it'll be Christmas again or something, and that event will start up, and then I'll start over from the beginning. Uh, so where are we at for time now? I think we've got quite a while. We've got the whole day ahead of us yet. Is there anything else I can reforge here that I want to blow a bunch of money on? Uh, 4%, 4%. Yeah, the wings, I haven't gotten the 4% out of those. How much money do I have? 22 platinum. I guess if I throw four more platinum in here, I could sit and tinker away at the wings for a while, see if we get any luck. Uh, worst that happens is I can't get back to three damage, and then I just have a bunch of bad stuff happening each time. Okay, nope, nope, 20, 40, 60. I've already spent like 70 gold. Nope, that was a complete waste. That also should not be a thing. Like, it should not be allowed to let you get the exact same thing twice in a row like that. Oh, we got it already. That's great. All right, so now we have the very best we can get for the wings. That actually was really not bad at all. Uh, but it should never be like, okay, you reforged from menacing back to menacing, and we just took 27 of your gold for no reason. That's a huge waste. It, it should kind of be like, well, once you get that in one session of sacrificing tons of money, it should just, like, no longer be on the list until you sort of whittle your way down uh, to the point of you can only get things that you haven't gotten yet. So eventually it would be reforging on the last thing that you haven't gotten and be like, well, you can't reforge anymore because you did that, so you have to hit escape and then start another session. I feel like that would not be unattainable or not impossible to do coding-wise. Uh, I would dare say that it might not be all that difficult, but I honestly don't know the logistics to that. Uh, I also need to do that thing that turns me into, like, the werewolf in the one time and the something else in the daytime. I forget how that works. There's another, there's a thing that that works with. 
And there's also, I want that mermaid, merfolk thing that lets me swim indefinitely in water. I think that's a thing I still need to do. Pretty sure I haven't yet. Uh, just looking through my list here, seeing if there's anything accessory-wise that I was interested in messing around with. I don't really think so. Uh, so I guess I will do what comes naturally in these situations, and we will make a cut, and then we will come back when it's time to fight another Frost Moon. So meaning, put our naughty present in our inventory and let some time pass. We'll play the, uh, you know, whatever song on our, the sun song on our ocarina and hope that maybe the night will approach fast today. So I will see you after that, and hopefully we'll have a very successful uh, Frost Moon this time. So see you in a minute! All right, and we're back, and I wanted to say a couple of things before we get into the fights. We still got about another hour or so to kill, which is, like, not very long at all. But anyway, uh, I actually went and reforged the Razor Pine, so it's the godly one. I went and looked it up on the wiki. I was uh, still a ways off from having the best version of it. I figured, let's just take that variable out of the equation. We'll have the best one uh, that there is. This is the second highest DPS, as far as I'm aware, that exists in the game, aside from there's some kind of frost staff that I'm looking for. And potentially we can use this to get that, and then we will have the best weapon in the game, hopefully, uh, if we are successful and lucky. Uh, the other thing I did was I removed the actuators from these blocks, so now when this uh, switch gets toggled, it will no longer make them solid again, which I think is just going to be better for everyone involved. So I can shoot straight down and not have to ever worry about hitting into those. Uh, I did do that by accident last time. And now uh, another one less thing to worry about. Uh, what did I just pick up? Just got a bunch of stuff. Oh, I got one of those... This is randomly these dudes, uh, the fairies that wander around, they'll just drop both a clock and a megaphone, or like a clock and a GPS unit, or some kind of other thing like that. Uh, or a trifold map or something. They drop a lot of stuff, which is strange to me. I'm not sure where they're holding all of that stuff, but it is interesting, uh, nonetheless. And what else did I do? I feel like I also reforged something else. I had all the wings and all of that stuff done. Um, whatever. I put, I put a bunch of stuff out of my inventory into chests, because I'm probably not going to need... The leaf blower, now that I have this. And honestly, I probably don't really need the Inferno Fork or, like, the Golden Shower, Magnet Sphere, Paladin, like, a Talon Hammer, a bunch of these things I don't really need. Uh, but I like having them for now. But I will be making some uh, steps to try and make things a little bit less uh, confusing in my inventory. There's just too many items, you know? I get a few drops and all of a sudden things have gone crazy. Are we... Yep, we're about 25 minutes, 23 minutes, 24 minutes, somewhere in there. Uh, away from starting another Frost Moon, and we will be hopefully destroying everything with this crazy new weapon. Uh, so let's put down one of these guys so we don't forget. And we can set up the rain clouds. And now I should be able to have it. all of my stuff is kind of like right next to each other on my inventory. So we should make that a little bit easier as well. And I'm spamming the button now. There we go. Elf Zombie Gingerbread Man Wave. Begin. And uh, let's do some more fighting. We'll see how this holds up. Uh, having crazy damage output should mean that I have a very hard time taking damage. I'm going to grab this uh, buff right away and just start basically beating into them. We'll see if we can <laughs> knock them down faster than ever with this. That's what I'm certainly hoping for. And yes, I am completely aware of the innuendo that was made a moment ago. Uh, zombie elf and elf archer. Okay, cool. So far, so good. Raining death in every direction. Look at all those health numbers going down real fast. That's good. Now I'm just waiting for a, a particularly heavy target to start uh, working a way out with this thing, because that's really where I hope this is going to shine. Uh, Elf Archer, Gingerbread Men. All right. Well, it doesn't help a lot if I miss a hundred times. This is the one thing that was kind of nice about the Bat Scepter is uh, essentially this stuff was all taken care of for me as long as I was aiming in the general vicinity. Actually, even if I wasn't, I think they would still find their mark eventually. They would just kind of zoom around uh, for a while. Okay, so here's an Ever Scream, and it looks like, yeah, his health is draining like crazy, so that's pretty cool. Uh, and I did not really lose much health in my own on that, so yeah, maybe this is the weapon I needed to turn the tides, combined with the uh, increased damage output. Uh, the fact that I have the ability to heal through just about anything should really make a big difference. And might even let me recover in particularly bad situations like what I experienced at the beginning of this episode. So maybe we will have our glory after all. Who knows? Well, we're going to see in pretty uh, short order here. Elfcopter just went down like it was nothing. That's awesome. We've got a Mimic here, which I didn't expect to be fighting in the midst of this fight. Yep, those guys really aren't that bad anymore. 
Did the, uh, the Mimic drop anything? I guess they just drop presents because they are presents or something. I don't really understand how that works, but they die and then they also become pick up or something. It's, uh, it's pretty weird. I haven't seen that done in any other game, really. But then again, not often is there an item that is like, you've died and picked up a present. Like, it, it is the thing that you killed. More games should be like that, you know, you kill it- well, I guess there's some other elements, like goldfish, right? You kill a goldfish, you get a goldfish. It's pretty simple. Imagine if everything was like that. I mean, like, the skinning in World of Warcraft. Like, you kill a bear, you get a bear and all of its organs, and the leather, and the meat, and the, the brain. Like, they'd have definitely done that. I, I wasn't sure if it was, like, a tongue-in-cheek joke at the fact that it's kind of ridiculous. Uh, when you kill certain things, enemies, NPCs, and the like, in MMOs, a lot of the time you end up with, like, one item from them, which makes no sense. Like, oh, I killed an entire bear and all I got was his front tooth. No, you get, like, all the guts that come out of that bear, too. Why don't we talk about the taffy inside of the bear? That never comes up. Well, taffy's actually located in the heart, so don't take that too seriously. Uh, it's tough to get out anyway. You need a taffy extractor. So the bear was telling me all about it. It's confusing. It's convoluted. It's not a process that I'm willing to uh, apprentice for. I mean, it takes years to be able to learn uh, the trade for that. Oh god, health buff! I smashed my finger on the keyboard just then. Uh, managed to let me live through that encounter. But if I don't... Okay, if I'm not careful and I wander into a bunch of bad stuff all of a sudden, I'm going to die. Okay, we're good. Now let's just stay alive long enough for that heal to come back around. We do have all our buffs on now, as I'm sure you can tell. That's uh, the make or break moment when you drop all the buffs at the same time. It's like, well, I'm about to die, might as well pop them. And we'll see if that helps. Uh, what wave are we even on? I forget to look half the time. I just keep throwing stuff over in this direction. I should probably get my turret up again and my rain clouds going. There we go. Let's get Santa to stand right in the middle of this stuff and get extra uh, dot damage. And yeah, he doesn't stand much of a chance when that happens. I really like that minigun. That one looks pretty cool to me. Uh, but of course, the frost staff or whatever the frost item is that we were supposed to get. If it's the best item in the game, the best weapon in the game, that's certainly where my priorities lie. So once you have that, basically everything else becomes pretty triv trivial, or at least uh, you have nothing to worry about grinding for anymore. It's like, well, you got the best one. Uh, if you can't make something work out of that, then you're probably doing it wrong. And not to toot my own horn, but I mean, I'm okay at, like, hopping around the battlefield a lot. I mean, kind of well-versed in that. Kiting enemies around, I've been doing it for years. I also really enjoy that this weapon is just, like, a shotgun with the way that all the, the needles come out. It sort of just goes everywhere, and you don't really have to think too much about aiming. I mean, again, not as easy as the Bat Scepter, but... Certainly does seem to get the job done. And that's a lot of hearts. That's a lot of hearts, says Rob. Alright, so now we got these snowflake dudes, which were kind of a problem for me last time, and I think this means we're going to be about to fight the Ice Queen again. Uh, I think that's what that means, right? Or are we we're very soon about to? We haven't started yet. A lot of these presents flying around. The presence of the presents is too much for me. Alright, there we go. So there's a nice queen. Not a nice queen, but a nice queen nonetheless. Uh, gotta not get hit by those frost waves. Those are very damaging. And they eat away at my health far, far too quickly. Alright, ice queen. If you could, like, get hit by some of my attacks, that would be stellar. I really enjoy that quite a bit. I don't even know where you are. That's the one thing where the bat saber or bat scepter really... Uh, will excel is that, like, even if I don't know where the enemy is, at least I'd still be hitting them for some damage. Now it's like I gotta pretty much stay on the screen uh, with the enemy as much as possible. But I'm not losing too much MP, though, so I don't feel quite as bad about wasting shots. Uh, the time, though, that it does start to get a little obnoxious is if you're running out of time for the encounter. Alright, I should be able to destroy this one. Yep, there it goes. I don't know if we got any drops from it, though, unfortunately. Probably not. Still probably a little too early to be getting drops from them regularly. Especially if there's 20 waves. But that should help us progress through waves rather quickly, provided I can keep finding and fighting them, uh, powering them down as fast as possible. I should really focus only on it. But sometimes, if I get a little low in health, maybe I want to come down here and fire a few shots away. Well, I'm probably not going to be able to hit the Ice Queen anyway. 
Yeah, that is a really good opportunity for ample damage when it starts spinning in place like that. Uh, let's get another turret down, as well as our rain. And back to Razor Pine. Got a bunch of damage there, probably not as much as I could have, though. Those, uh, frost waves that keep hitting me remind me a lot of, uh, the... Round, like, there's these, uh, environmental hazards from, I think it was in Mega Man 1, the Fireman stage. Uh, that kept, like, showing up and smacking into you, and they make, like, a thwap sound. They're reminding me quite a bit of that. It was a random reference for the day, I suppose. Oh, did I kill it? I did kill it. Did I get anything? Probably not. But then again, I seem to find the, uh, the items that drop, like, after the encounter most of the time. I think that's what happened the last couple of times that happened. Too much chaos on the screen. I'll never know what's happening, really. Alright, get over here, please. I'd really like to fight one more of you before time runs out. So it looks like the moon is getting very low in the sky right now. Uh, I can't seem to find where the Frost Queen has gone. Is it... Does it matter if I kill these yetis? They're probably not gonna drop anything, right? Kill another Everscream. Oh, we're on wave 13 now. We've got a long way to go, don't we? I have 20 waves. We are not nearly there yet. Hard to believe that there's still so much stuff that I could need to do that I'm, like, so bad still at this point that I would have so much trouble that I couldn't make it to wave 20, but I guess uh, maybe not all of these things were designed to be done by one person, which is probably reasonable. Uh, have all my buffs worn off yet? No, not quite yet, but they should be doing that pretty soon. I dropped a heal in there, too, if you didn't notice. Uh, if we could get this next Ice Queen down real soon, that would be great. Uh, I'm taking a lot of hits, though, and not getting a lot of heals. Uh, firing straight up, hoping that does the job. It did. Okay, cool. So that's, what, three Ice Queens now that we've taken out. Get rid of these Snowflakes, they do a lot of damage. Oh my god, I was so close to death there, and I'm, I'm probably gonna die. Once I die, I think it's over. Pretty sure it's over. Unless I can get enough heals back. Oh, there's a lot of hearts right here, that might help. Solar Eclipse is happening right now? Oh my god, that leads us into a whole other thing that I need to do. Because uh, there's some swords that I need to build, and the only way for me to get the proper stuff for those swords is to drink Battle Potions and, uh, have blue candles and such. Alright, so let's, uh, embrace that, I suppose. Uh, but I do want to make sure I get all the stuff that I can from this fight. It certainly went ba uh, better than the first time, but it still could have gone even better, I'm pretty sure, considering we didn't make it anywhere near the end. Uh, so we need to get... the, uh, swords from this stuff. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm actually- this episode's starting to run a little long. I'm just gonna cut right to the next episode, and we will pick back up in the midst of our solar eclipse, I need to go get some items anyway. Let's just make sure I didn't pick up anything by accident. Oh, I actually got a chain gun and two elf melters. Wow. I didn't even notice. That's pretty wild. Alright, so we're gonna check that out next time then. Uh, but thank you everybody for watching. It's been a pretty fantastic episode 69. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please do leave your support for continued Terraria episodes. Uh, they won't be up daily, unfortunately, anymore, but they will be going up still. Uh, probably at least two or three times a week, provided you guys are still interested in them. I guess if you have some phenomenal response to this one, maybe I could be persuaded to do a bunch of episodes in a row, but uh, I'll leave that up to a uh, random chance, I suppose. So thank you, everybody, for watching. I will catch you next time, and I hope you have a lovely night.